What about J.D. Souther? As I am. So one of the uh, more enigmatic uh, figures in the history of rock and roll, country music song, one of the great songwriters ever. Just ranking with you know people like Sammy Kahn, those people, Van Jimmy Van Heusen, all those people. So he's going to can't even, and plus the boy can sing. So he's going to sing all morning for us. Uh, you know, wrote to Best of My Love and New Kid in Town. Oh, my, come on. Stuff for the Eagles and Linda Ronstadt. I mean, you cry, come on. Yeah. So uh, so he's coming up. And uh, Spider-Man opened up Broadway. Hey, Warner, Jamie said- Johnson, uh, when he was on the show here a while back, I said, I said, whatever happened? What's J.D. Souther doing? Do you know him? He said, yeah, I think he lives here in Nashville somewhere. And now he's got an album out. <laughs> One of the great songwriters ever. This new album is called Natural History. Please welcome to the Amnesty Morning Program, J.D. Souther. Thanks, Amos. I wish I was there with you in New Mexico. You're five hours from where I grew up, six hours from where I grew up in Amarillo. No, really? Yeah. I've been through Amarillo. It's about, about 90 miles an hour. <laughs> That's about the speed I go through, too. <laughs> what are you going to sing for us? I'm going to sing something from the new, actually the first cut from the new album. It's called Go Ahead and Rain. Okay. No hands. I don't know how you go on with your sorrows, weighing you down like a stone. But then I don't know sit here and give you advice dying for home you could be the girl I'm searching for but I hardly know your name so please won't you love me anyway won't you do what your little heart's trying to say Go ahead and let it rain on me I don't know why we keep standing around here Like the little boy lost and his girl But you won't let me in And I can't say goodnight And just drive away in my world Is you sure the fate I always see when I close my eyes and dream. So please, won't you love me anyway? Won't you do what your little heart's trying to say, baby? Let it rain on me. Go ahead. Won't you love me anyway? Won't you do what your heart's trying to tell you? Baby, go ahead and rain. Cause maybe things will never be the same again. Baby. Whoa. J.D. Souther for the Amazonian program. Well, that's pretty good for 26 after 6 or even a.m. or p.m. Thank you, Harris. 
Hey, uh, J.D., when uh, the Eagles did hey now, I mean, how long? Hey now. <laughs> <laughs> I keep calling it. Did you know they were going to do that and redo that? Absolutely no idea. My first inkling of it was uh, uh, John Bug, who is the, what you call him, the video czar from uh, yeah. Rhino and, and Warner Brothers, called me. He's an old racing buddy of mine. We go to races together and, and uh, pretend we can race. And, yeah. Uh, he said, have you seen your video? And I said, uh, my album's not even finished. No, I haven't seen my video. And he said, no, 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 your Eagles video. You have the new Eagles single. I said, I do? And he said, yeah, I'll send you a link. It's not finished, but it's, it's great. And uh, they're putting a big push behind it. It's the first single from the new album. And he said, it's your, you know, anti-Vietnam song from <laughs> 35 years ago. You don't mind? I said, no, I don't think I mind, really, you know. I thought they did a great version, didn't you? I mean, yeah, they. Me too. I thought they, they did it really great. Yeah. They just they, they just did your versions all, but they but they did a great job. Thank you for saying so. Yes, they did. Now, I mean, JD Sal will be back all morning. It's 28 after the hour. Time for a little briefing now. And uh, with Bernard McGurk, and it's sponsored by uh, Planet yeah, Fitness. Good morning, Bernard. Good morning, boss, from the Small Business Authority uh, Studios. And uh, this following story, very, very I'm sad. What Apparently, the wedding between Hugh Hefner and his uh, fiance that was supposed to take place this um, Saturday. Uh -oh. I don't think off. the statute of limitations has expired yeah, on what I've been doing. So, so we're trying to figure out what did you write for the Eagles now? Oh, nah, a couple little songs. Best of My Love, uh, Heartache Tonight, New Kid in Town, Sad Cafe, James Dean, Victim of Love. Not much, really. Heartache Tonight. God, I love that. Thank you. <laughs> what, what a great song. So You know what I just heard? I just heard the Michael Buble record. Michael Buble record of Heartache Tonight. It's quite good. Really good. Really? Big swinging big band chart. Yeah. I just can't imagine that. Yeah. I'd almost rather go to prison than hear him sing anything. But. I don't want to see you in prison, man. <laughs> <laughs> you ever talk to Linda Ronstadt? I do. I talk How's to she her. doing? She's doing great. She actually is uh, was very instrumental in me making this record. She advised me to do it. I said, I don't want to sing all those old songs again. They nearly killed me the first time. She goes, no, no, come on, man. How many people get to do an album of their own standards? Go ahead. I was playing you in the, on the big stereo system here at the ranch, and uh, my wife is or the, well, not wasn't well, aware of you, and uh, nor none of the kids and so on. And well, it's that's interesting. Right. She's young. You're like me. You married a woman half your age. Well, <laughs> well yeah. Done, you know. But she's, uh, you know, and I'm not just... Uh, well, obviously wouldn't be patronizing you, but oh, they just all sit up and take notice. And I thought white, white rhythm and blues and things like that. And you're only lonely. You know, we had Raw Malo in here. He did that. Doesn't he sing that well? Oh, God, that guy's great. He's just a wonderful singer. He sings it great. All right, please welcome once again to the I'm Swain program, J.D. Souther. Well, you got me thinking about that song, so I'm going to sing it. All right. <laughs>
That's all That's all You're only lonely Oh man, J.D., God, do you sound great. I was talking to the Lou Rufino, one of the producers of the program, during that song. I said, God, doesn't he sound good. Sad Cafe, you know, there, there used to be a, a restaurant here in Ribera. There's only one restaurant in a town of about eight people. It was called a Sad Cafe, right? It was, and then a new owner took over, and, and now it's La Risa. What does that mean? Happy Cafe. <laughs> <laughs> you can write something like that, huh, J.D.? <laughs> I'm working on it right now. <laughs> J.D. Souther here in the Amherst Morning Program. It's 29 after the hour. Uh, J.D. will be back. He's going to appear, by the way, tomorrow night at Joe's Pub in New York City. Yes. Then he'll be at Sellersville, Pennsylvania at the Sellersville Theater. And uh, uh, you can, for more information, you can, there's, a, there's probably a website you can go to, or I'll just tell you where he's going to be in the days ahead, as we do with Hayes Carl. It's uh, 30 minutes. It's 23 after the hour. I spent most of the time here just amusing myself. So What? <laughs> I don't know. I take it easy, Congressman Wiener. Right. How do you go about that? Oh, no, 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 no. I just think, I think I actually make myself laugh, so, which is good. All right, time for uh, some emails. Now with that is Carly. Good morning, Carly. Good morning. How are you? I'm great. Do uh, you like J.D. Souther? I think he's one of the best you've had on. And then uh, wow. Carly's 25 years old. Now, so that says something, doesn't it? That's yeah. high praise. That's what I'm talking about. Yeah, his, 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 the last song that he played almost made me cry. Cry. It was... Touched me. It was, I don't know. Pull yourself together, Carly. <laughs> Easy, Carly. Too much information. Just calm down. You need no, a, but I mean, come on. You need All somebody right. to sympathize with you? <laughs> no, <laughs> Bill, leave her alone. Bit. <laughs> Time for some emails. Email What's up, time. Carly? All right. Uh, this first one here is from Jim Burns. Jim says, I was very surprised by the GOP gathering in New Hampshire. When did Mitt Romney start touring with the Osmond family? Uh, <laughs> uh-huh. <laughs> It's fairly amusing. So it's good. It's a good one, Jim. All right. All right. Give me another one. Moving on, we have Paul. Paul says, uh, try stop using the term heavy set. Instead, try fat. For someone who has never had a weight problem, you can be so insensitive to the struggles some people oh. must go through. Really? Wow. Walk a mile in their shoes. Obviously, uh, Paul is uh, fat. <laughs> yeah. <laughs> you know? So, and Paul wrote a fat Stupid email. <laughs> yeah. We have time for one more. Okay, this one's from Marge from Colorado. Marge says, how about having an old cowgirl contest for women, women who could benefit from a tune-up? We could slap on a little Chamonix, run to Planet Fitness, and submit pictures of our progress. Everyone loves a heartwarming transformation. Mm. Sounds like a good idea. Uh, yeah. Except for the pictures. <laughs> you can tweet the pictures. <laughs> well, I... Uh, I don't know. It's uh, there comes a point when uh, these they're they, just it's uh, it's better just to move on. So, <laughs> yeah. I don't want to be insensitive here, but but that's probably a good idea. Well, get some of that stuff and smear it on yourself, baby. Send us a picture. It's twenty five hour twenty four till the next one here in the I'm Just Wayne program. J D. Souther has been in this morning. He's going to sing just a second here. New album's called Natural History. Just released eleven songs that. Uh, J.D. wrote previously a song by the Eagles and the Ronstadt and all that. Mr. Souther will be at Joe's Pub to, uh, tomorrow night in New York. And then on June 17th, he'll be at the Sellersville, the Sellersville uh, Theater in Sellersville, Pennsylvania. On the 18th, he'll be out in Montclair, New Jersey 
at Outpost in the Burbs on the 20th up in Fairfield, Connecticut at Stage 1 uh, Theater. Thank you very much, J.D., for coming in this morning. It's a My pleasure. pleasure for all of us to have you on the program. You're My from pleasure. Texas. Uh, Don Henley's from Texas. Is Glenn from Texas? No, Glenn's from uh, Ann Arbor, Michigan, although that's where I was actually born, Detroit. Oh, okay. But grew up in Amarillo. Uh, Henley and I are from miles apart. He's from East Texas, that piney woods kind of. We're really in the sure. south part of Texas. I'm from up where you are now, you know, Amarillo. How, uh, how did you hook up with them? Glenn and Don. We just stumbled into each other at the Troubadour. Oh, uh, really? Pretty much, yeah. Actually, uh, Glenn and I met because our girlfriends were sisters from Detroit. He came out for a visit. We'd both just been fired from other bands, and we thought, well, let's try playing together and see what happens. And you'd gone to Hollywood? Uh, this is out in L.A., right? Yeah, yeah. Man, guys made some history, for sure. We we did we did things things change every day and it's it, we didn't notice at the time you know it was just uh, trying to get to the gig and I, all I had was a Triumph 650 motorcycle and a guitar on my back so I really didn't have any idea quite the implications of it. The songs are still great though I mean thank you. Just you know part of the fabric of our lifetimes and to be corny and lame about it. No, it's not corny. I appreciate you saying it and thanks for having me on the show and I, listen I'm just lucky to still be alive and singing good i changed my habits you know i don't i don't smoke anymore i eat a lot of radishes and i, I feel good about it you know what are you gonna sing now well you mentioned sad cafe thought so i thought i'd th sing it for you god i love that song oh good. All right, man.